I got to thinking water infiltration rates. That's a big thing that we talk about a lot. And I and I did a little demonstration. You can take a bottle of water, and if you pour it on my head, this is highly erodible land. If you notice the slope, it's pretty good. You can pour water on my head, and it would just run, run off very quickly. But if I put this hat back on, and you pour water up here, uh, it's not going to run off as fast. And that's a really good example of what water infiltration rates look like. We started out uh, with the cover crops because we were all dry land and uh, we wanted to uh, capture all the moisture and uh, uh, keep it as long as we could so that uh, through the growing season that uh, the crops could take advantage of it. And that was really the, uh, you know, the intention when we started out because we didn't think that uh, irrigation was really going to be a possibility. The first uh, challenge that we were concerned about was uh, was getting a stand. So basically getting equipment to go through the, the cover, making a good seed bed, good seed to soil contact. Uh, we wound up inventing a piece of equipment that uh, made that process work. The cover crop roller that rolls the crop down as we strip till. Uh, a vertical till machine that has a straight blade with no concave that does not turn the soil. Uh, that's a good machine. As far as a goal for a planting date is as soon as we take the cash crop off. We, uh, we've done several things to speed that process up. One, we pull our soil samples on the peanut land while the peanuts are still there. When we harvest that field of peanuts, we're spreading lime. We have our litter ready to go. And then we, uh, we spread the seed uh, for the cover crop and then we work it in with a vertical till machine. Uh, it's a busy fall, but in the spring, uh, you, you get the time back. We basically do nothing until planting time. Watch your cover crop go, watch the weather. And it's been, it's been one of the better things I've ever done on the, on the farm.